20 years ago, there was a vision to upgrade the coastal highway. Luckily, today we can stand here and say that it has become a reality. The coastal highway was typically um, only used during the dry weather because it is located in a low-lying area and um, it was very susceptible to flooding. This project basically entails the upgrading of existing gravel road to an internationally paved standard. It also includes the rehabilitation of three existing bridges and the construction of six new bridge structures. It also includes significant drainage improvement works in an effort to make the road more climate resilient. The road was terrible, terrible, terrible condition. When I used to have my vehicle, you gotta keep on going to the mechanic over and over. You get rotten underneath, you get punctured, all different kind of wear and tear. So you used to take up what we call a licking, no? And due to the improvement of the road, many more people come to the village and um, purchase my L right here. I hardly even have to go to the Griga like before. Really and truly happy that they build this road because we used to take like about almost 19 to 20 hours from Tower Hill to Big Creek. But now how they, they, we're using the coastal road right now, we are doing it in 17 hours roughly. We were burning about almost 80, 85 gallons of fuel. Now using this road, now we are only burning at like about 35 gallons. I'm the developer of a small project here. We're gonna do a little gas station, a sister gas station to the Shell gas station, Santa Elena town. This is the first step to the development of business here, the highway, and then as businesses come, it's like a stepping stone for other businesses, and then residential people start living here because there'll be work in the area, and that's how we'll grow this whole community. When the hurricane season starts, that is when we have the rainy season and flooding, and most of the time the teachers cannot reach to school because of the coastal road flooding, but now, since the road is upgraded, it is very easy for us to be here, very easy for students to get out of the community if we have an emergency. And it's also very easy to have access to in and out of the community without worrying about if they would get back in, if there's a rain or flooding. And this would not have been possible without the invaluable financial support from the government of United Kingdom based on the grant that they have given to Belize. We're also thankful for the financial support that we have received from the Caribbean Development Bank and of course the counterpart funding that has been provided by the government of Belize and the support that we have received from the engineering consultant Polytechnica and the management and implementation team of the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing Project Execution Unit. I thank everyone for the hard work and commitment that they have put into this project and to make it a success.